A new exhibit coming to the Galt Museum is called Arts of China, Glimpses of an Ancient Civilization. Curator Wendy Aikens talks about some of the materials used in ancient China. The Chinese culture developed highly technical ways of, of producing three beautiful pieces of media. One is jade, one is ceramics, and the other is bronze, and those are the three that are featured in this exhibit. The Chinese had uh, a bronze technique which was really unique to them and it absolutely gave them the ability to make very intricate, very, very delicately uh, carved pieces. And so it was uh, one that they didn't share with the rest of the world very much. They were the first to develop porcelain, which is a high fire ceramics. So earthenware was created almost everywhere in the world, but they were the ones that uh, developed the porcelain technique and the high, high fire, and they didn't share that with the rest of the world until the 1700s. Aitkins gives us some technical aspects of how jade, ceramic, and bronze objects were made. A lot of the objects that have come from the Royal Ontario Museum were made for either uh, royalty or funerary pieces, but they were also made to sell. So their products started to travel all over the world in Eastern Asia first and then as it became popular it spread. And so the technology would change a little bit. They were good salespeople and they would create pottery that was specific to Thailand and they would create the shapes and use the patterns of Thailand that would sell in that area. And when it spread to England, a lot of people couldn't afford it there. So English potteries started to make uh, a very ma highly produced, mass produced pieces. Modern society is starting to see a resurgence in this type of art. I think that Chinese influence has always been there. It's been more popular at times than others, but it's always been there. And artists today still carve in stone, they still create pottery, and they still work in bronze. And so we have examples of some of the pottery that was used here in Lethbridge the, at the Chinese National League. They're beautifully painted. They're inexpensive pottery ware, but they have beautiful hand-painted birds and dragons, flowers. They're gorgeous pieces. Arts of China opens officially on February 9th and runs until Monday, May 19th. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Ryan Craddock.